My name is Marika. Come on in. Start with purpose. What is the purpose of your home? What do you want it to be? Is it a place where you entertain? Is it a place where you come to, for refuge to be comfortable? Whatever that is for you, lead with purpose and design from that space. I'm a co-founder of a community called Her USA, and this is our home. It's where we host our events, it's where we co-work out of, and this is a home that's open for all of the women in the community to co-work, or to come when they need a conversation or a cup of tea. So we actually have an August lock here, which opens from anywhere in the city and people can just text me when they're in the neighborhood and come in for a meditation session or just uh, to do some work. So this is the coziest corner of the apartment. A little bit of dead space that I decided to turn into a meditation nook. We live in New York City, a very hectic place. And when things get a little out of control, I spent a lot of time traveling in my career and my two favorite cities in that time were Istanbul and Stockholm. Blending those two styles, it really speaks to me. Um, the Scandinavian clean, comfortable aesthetic, but then the whimsical of Istanbul that tells so much of a story and I tried to bring both of those styles into this apartment. So the living room. I'm gonna start with a Scandinavian rocking chair. This was a solid three week Craigslist expedition. I found it, it's at home, and I'm very happy with this rocking chair. I'd love to know what people think that this hole was originally meant for. Quite actually, behind that white wall is like the sky and outside. I think at the core we are all tribal and our joy in life doesn't come from things, but it comes from people and love and connection. And the reason that home is so important to me, we've talked about all these details and you'll see all these nice things in this home, but it's because it's an opportunity for people to be in a place where they can relax, gather and be themselves. That's ultimately what home is for me. If you haven't noticed yet, this entire apartment basically consists of two things, a ginormous table and a kitchen. And that's very intentional because um, so much of gatherings are accompanied with meals and food. And for me, I think that it's really fun to get your guests involved in creating the meal. The biggest indulgence by far in this space and everyone, for those of you who haven't heard of it or don't know what this is, write it down. It's a Hastens mattress. Everything that you could ever dream a mattress is, this mattress will do <laughs> for your sleep. This is my bedroom. It's a really white, tranquil space. And it's very intentionally that way um, because when I go to bed, I don't want to see anything around me that will distract me and give my mind things to remunerate on. So when I look at myself today and at myself in my 20s and I start to reflect on why is it that I'm so obsessed with bringing people together and creating an apartment that has a ginormous table in the middle of it? And I've been doing a lot of that thinking lately and I think it reflects back to, I just didn't have that when I was small and it really, um, it was painful. And um, I think it left a forever wound that I never wanted anyone else to feel how I felt at that age of not being included and not having a group of friends. So my internal inward mission is to create environments where everyone is welcome. And I feel so grateful to now have a space that can let me live out that manifestation in real life and that I can actually bring people to a table and create environments where they're seen for just themselves, um, which is exactly as we all should be all the time, but so much in the lives that we live, so much is filtered. Um, and my home is a place to remove the filter and to be yourself.